Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of dog? That was the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> I like miniature pinchers because I have two. Miniature pinchers? Miniature pinchers are like miniature Dobermans. They're little Dobermans. They're mean. Wait, wait, there's a J. Cole lyric. It's like. I think it's along J. the lines. Cole? Wait, it's either J. Cole or like uh, like Shakespeare. It one sounds of the like two. you're saying J. J. Cole or Shakespeare. It's one of the two. It's either J. Cole or Shakespeare. Shakespeare? It's How do we know? Ass fat, so I pinch it like a Doberman. I'm, it's probably J. I Cole. <laughs> Shakespeare's Maybe it's Nietzsche. <laughs> Carl Young. That's who it was. That's who it was. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes? Yeah. If you guys wink, I'm calling you out. I'm just letting you know. We, we wink all you the guys time. Are, yeah. <laughs> I, heard, I, I heard you don't like when Bree and I are together because you don't Stop. understand. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about Let's it. Let's talk about it. I don't dislike when you two are together. That's not what I said either. I said you don't like when we're together because you're not in on the that's, joke. Yeah, that's the. I feel like that's I what I just said. Okay, let's bring it back. Yes. What I don't Circle like. <laughs> Circle it back. You turn. I'm we're, ready. We're whipping this around. Left, to the left. To the left. About 180 degrees. All right. Okay. And the the back to the, the left. left. <laughs> no, no. It, it goes back to whenever. You are new to a group, and that group does not make you feel included. I'm sorry. Because oh, oh, they I have... Oh, I feel bad. No, no. Let me finish. Tears are going to come. You enter the new group, <laughs> okay. and the so new group has so many inside jokes, which is an awesome, beautiful thing, and I love it, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you, too. But it's too much for you as the outsider, the new member of the group, to cope with, so and you're just, just like, oh, what's going just, on? Just wink at something, and it'll be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's in, he's in, he understands. That's, that's the, the winking thing. That's the insider oh. between the two of you. It's, oh, you can join. Yeah, you can just wink at anything. There you go, see? <laughs> I feel like I have a forceful wink, though. <laughs> it's pretty aggressive. I don't. Why did I, I need to. Like, back. I need to. I need to let you guys know who I'm directing at. So it's like I'm looking at so you right you're now. Like, you're like, hey, <laughs> this is not you. Love it. I'm actually, my it's gonna. Does it hurt? Well, my can eyelids you, might be sore. Can you wink morning. with both eyes? Yeah. Can you wink with the other eye? Oh, like closing them to go to sleep. No. With the other like, eye. Like, here's one. Wink with, I naturally like, wink this with this one? eye. Yeah. I can't wink with You wink with, with your the, right or left? I can't wink with this eye. Right or left? He can! Oh! Wait, I like, can, switch off? Yeah. Yes. One. Oh. Two. Oh, I can to do it. I can see out of this eye, but other I people... I can't do that. Like, other people might say that it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so, like, they're like, oh, you can't really wink out of that eye. It's closed. But, like, I can see out of it. One. No, no, that was wide open. That was wide open. Was it? Yeah. Are like, you lying to me? <laughs> it was like a blossoming flower. Yeah, I can't do that. It was wide open. It was wide open. Wide open. Here we go. I'll show them this next That's time. That's another Shakespeare line, actually. Bust it wide open, then no. I'll tell her bring it back. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I doubt Shakespeare said, now bring it back. We've been talking about Shakespeare a lot today. Did yeah, he came up earlier today, too. <laughs> Didn't you know that was the topic? He wrote it down earlier. He's like, I'm bringing up Shakespeare all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, I got a whole list of topic. Energy depleting people. You guys know any energy depleting people? Everyone at the nursing home? <laughs> I'll wink to that, guys. <laughs> it's like, I'll drink to that, I'll wink to that. Okay, I get it. I get you. I'll, I'll wink to that. Good job. <laughs> A wank to that. Oh no! <laughs> that no, not two, two different things. <laughs> you know, like they're like vampires of energy. You know, we're probably kind of energy depleting people at work. Do you think so? We might be. Do you guys we're get like, energy from each other, but suck energy out of everybody else? Probably. I, I think we feed off of each other. I kind of feel like we just get really pissed off. Like people don't think the same as us, and we're just like, I hate. This place, and we just get like so mad at like everybody who works there. Fair enough. 
but we like each other, so we're like... Yeah, so it's like, did you hear this? And all, everyone else just looks at us like... Like, what's wrong with you? It sounds like a codependent relationship. But at night shift, everybody's like, you two are too happy. What do and they call like, us? The Bopsy Twins? Who's that so, mean? I'm not sure, but that they call us the Bopsy Twins. Like Kids Bop? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> kids Bop spons- is like sponsors your friendship. You know, every time I hear the word Kids Bop, I always think of the song um, that What's Your Name sings. Gonna, gonna soak, soak up, up the sun. sun. Yeah, what's your name? Cheryl I, Crow. I own that yeah. one. Yeah. I own that kids' book. Yeah, that's so long ago, isn't it? That is. Reminds really me of being ago. on the beach. True. I wish I was. It on reminds me of simpler time. times. What? Reminds me of better times, you know, mate. Reminds me of better days. Yeah, reminds me of back when I was young. Six, back when I was young. <laughs> In sixth grade. In simpler times. Yeah. Oh. We're Aussies now. We're Aussies now. We're Aussies, crikey! I used to have a friend back in high school. She was a she was a friend of mine, and she used to say that whenever she got drunk, she would only be able to speak in a British accent. She claimed that she was unable to alter her I'm, voice back to like her normal voice. I'm half British. We should do that. Are you really? Yeah, my grandma's from England, and she gave birth to my dad, which makes me like. Maybe, okay, maybe it's like a quarter British. 25. 25, yeah. yeah. So I'm like a quarter British. Okay, Isn't the, that cool? The part that I'm not following is that your grandma gave birth to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the one part I'm just not getting. <laughs> Did your grandma Started. give birth to your dad as well? Is this, is this a trend? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. New trend. Your grandma's <laughs> giving birth to dads. <laughs> new, new topic discussion. <laughs> new topic point. Did your grandma also... Can we talk about your dreams, or should we just kill it? Kill the conversation, bring it up, it arises, your dreams? What about them? You had some dreams lately. Oh, I have not. Oh, man. Do you you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? about? Like, you're having my baby kind of dream? Not him. Having my baby. No, no, but you've you've been having dreams that you're going to get pregnant. Crazy dreams, yeah, for sure. Um, I've just been having dreams that, um... I've been pregnant lately, and I think that it might have to do with the fact that, like, I've been going back to my exes. I don't know. Do they live in Texas? Oh, like in George Strait? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I needed that. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't know what it means. I hope that it means nothing because I'm not ready to have a baby. Um, I'm just trying to move out and have a good time. No babies allowed. Me too. <laughs> so... Do you ever think about that? Like how much a kid would change your life at this point in life? I can't even. I don't even want financially to support that. myself, let alone a child. Right. True. True right. that. No, what scares me from like being a guy and like, okay, tell me if this is irrational, okay? Like, from a female perspective, am I just crazy? Am mm-hmm. I crazy for this? This is what I'm scared of sometimes. Is that you meet? I'm not like paranoid about this, but this is like a concern. This is something. This is this is not something I like stress about or I'm paranoid about, but it's something I take into consideration. That's how I word this. Okay. But like somebody who's crazy at this age that wants a kid that's going to like somehow manipulate that. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. that is like a like a deep fear. Of like mine. someone like who mean like someone thing. who traps you into like having a baby. Kind of yes, thing. Yes. Yes. Like, like like those means that or like if I was like. Yeah, I'm on birth control. And then you're really not. And then you're not, and then yeah. you end up Or like the ones where like, they say they, like, wrap their legs and around. And don't let you and go. Like, yeah. go. And like, when you're trapped into it. That's like a scary thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I feel like I condom. I could and, never. And support abstinence. <laughs> abstinence is key. Am That's I right, That's why you wear chastity friends? belts. Chastity belts all around. And you just let the urine flow down the side of your leg. Love yeah, it. don't unlock that shit for anything. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Literally. Nothing. <laughs> nothing gets in there. It becomes very moist. Yeah, it might be some mold. Okay, that's how you end up with infections. <laughs> yeah, the nurse in us is like, don't do that. Infection control. Well, that's why you polish your 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 gold the belt. Your gold chastity belt. Polish your belt. The only way you can take it off to clean it is if you go in like a super locked up room. <laughs> yeah. Where they can't break <laughs> where down they the can't doors. Break down. 
so you can just clean it and then put it back on. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the outside of the door is like has cameras on it. Like yeah. major lock system. Like <laughs> it has like an alarm where if it sees motion, it's like yeah, put it back on. <laughs> You have to, yeah, like, detect kind of your thing. gender. Like, yeah. you have to, like, prove that you're a female to get in there. Oh, God. How would you do that? Uh, I was thinking boobs, but I think I might have to do, like, a... <laughs> Just flash from your tits. <laughs> I guess it should... <laughs> That's it. Like, five-chested girls are like, why can't I get in? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was not an attack on that anybody. Hurt. That was that not an hurt. attack. <laughs> That was, that was on us. That one felt. I felt it. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch Pokemon? No. No, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh, and I think that might have been because I lived in Japan at the time. But that was like a big thing. It was Yu-Gi-Oh. You remember? It's like kind of part of the anime culture. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. It seems to be. I'm not a big anime person, to be Me honest. Either. I, my sister I was. She read, like, fruits baskets and stuff. And don't you think it's weird how you have to read, like, like All anime books? No, listen, like, anime books, like, backwards. Yeah. Like, you learn how to read one way, and you have to read them, like, backwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I know, like, nothing about anime, so. Is that your dad? <laughs> yeah. No, dad's during the podcast. <laughs> No dad. That's a rule. That's a rule. No dad. I think there's actually there's a rule written. There's a rule book around there's here somewhere. There's a rule book. No dad. <laughs> no, they like are no they dad. on so, like opposite pages too or something? Oh, he's just asking about me. Wait, what do you mean opposite pages? Aren't they on like opposite pages? Like when you I read thought it you had to read like read this page, page and then this page. You have to read like a oh you like, boxes like right to left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you read it yeah, because it's Japanese? Is that why? Or? I'm not really sure why it is, but it's like backwards to what you learn in America. What's the like? Everything's what's... back. They, they drive backwards. Yeah, they do. Backwards you don't you America. drive on the right side of the road? I know a lot of European left. countries do, but not all of them. Japan yeah. is one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 You even have to take like a new driving test to like prove that you can. I, don't I never know. thought about like Asian countries. Side. I wasn't. I was not the age where I was driving there, so I, I didn't want to. Okay. Oh, but isn't the... But, like, the driver's side is on, like, the right side. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, now I that I'm thinking that. about it, I can't remember. Yeah, that was... Oh, so it's, like, the... the oh, oh, so it's, so it's like, all flipped up. So it's like all flipped up. Okay. Like, like, exactly the uh -huh. opposite. Which is wrong. <laughs> because America is great. America is correct. It, America's the only way to live. <laughs> Dang flabbit. Basin. Damn flabbit. Where's my Miley rabbit? <laughs> I want my mullet back. Wait, is that Billy something, Ray? Something Billy Ray Cyrus. Something. I was just guessing, really? Yeah, that's actually that's Billy, Billy Ray? Billy Ray, yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray. He wants his mullet back. What is it? Uh, business in the front, party in the back. Business in the front. Party in the back. I would love to sit down with Billy Ray Cyrus. Like, wouldn't you? Do you ever like wonder what he thought about Miley when she was going through that crazy phase? Do you I, think he was like cool with it? He's like, you know what? Like, this is what happens. Think, or do you think he was like really judgmental? Do you no, I think, think he didn't care that everybody goes through like a Miley party phase? Like, they're just like crazy. It's a good point. He probably thought about it. Like, he was probably just like, everyone goes through this. Like, that's a good point. Cause I feel like. This is this is my thing. This is my thing, right? Because you guys get twenty one and you're twenty. 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 Okay. <laughs> gonna be twenty one by the point this podcast no. comes out. So. No. If you post it sometime, sometime in May. May. No. Oh, out. okay, okay, okay. I feel it. I'm following. Uh, okay, so anyway, follow it down that rabbit hole. I feel like me personally. So I'm twenty three now. I feel like I feel like my crazy phase was like <clears throat> seventeen, eighteen. I feel like I was really wild, and then I was wild in a different way when I got to college. Not really when I was 18 that much, but then I was like 19, 20, and then I really calmed down. Like, I, by the time I turned 21, I was like way calmer. I feel like, like, this is me. like, everybody when they first enter, like, college has, like, this, like, wild phase. Like, they just want to, like, experience this new, like, found freedom. So they just kind of go, like, crazy. Like, they can't stop themselves. Like, nobody's there to tell them, like, no, you can't do it. So they just kind of, like, go crazy. 
Okay, okay. You know what I mean? And it's like something you got to get out of you. Right. It really you, is. Like, you don't have anybody there to be like, Jordan, listen, you need you to stop. You can't you party. You can't just party like that. Yeah, it's, it, it's like, it really is important. It's like a total, it's like a total thing, like a part of human nature I feel that like you just if, have to like if through. you don't get it out, then maybe you're going to be messed up. Do you think it's like a cultural thing? Like, you think it's like a U.S., like... <laughs> Yeah. Because every, everybody I know is going through a crazy phase. Like, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Like, sure. a wild phase in whatever way. Usually it's partying, really. Yeah. But. I think everybody just needs to get the party out of them. Like, yeah. like, everybody just wants to have a good time. I when, Back in high school, I went down to Panama City Beach for spring break. Mm-hmm. Back when Panama City Beach was, like, a big thing. It was, like, the, it was like the padre of then. So, it was, it was like, a huge deal... Uh, long story short, I went down last minute. Me and my friends decided two days before that we're going, and we just decided to go down there and we like find hotel rooms. Long story short, I meet some people from Arkansas on the beach. End up staying with them. They're like, they were that there were one was twenty three, so I was eighteen. One was twenty three, and then they were like twenty two, twenty one, and like I think that youngest was like twenty or something like that. I ended up staying with these people, hanging out with these people instead, leaving my friends completely. But uh, there's there's way more to the story than that. Like there's way more to the story. But anyway, uh, one of the girls who was living there said that whenever you're in high school, you're a lot crazy. Like if you're wild in high school, then you calm down in college. If you're really really reserved in college, then you, or in high school, then you're really wild in college. I feel like I, I can believe a- I can attest to that because <clears throat> like in high school, like I didn't really do like much of the partying and like now like. I was the same way. Everyone like, was like, you do- want a drink? And I was like, oh, no, God, I no, would I never. Would never take a yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And now we just <laughs> kind of, like, party it up. Kind of like goody two-shoes back in... Really? Yeah, you guys- for sure. Well, like, it wasn't... Really? Like, for me, like, it wasn't like yeah. I wanted to be a goody two-shoes. Like, I wanted to go out and party, but, like, my mom and dad were like, hey, like, this isn't a good idea. Like, you should just stay home. So whether it's like, I'm not saying you put it on yourself, but whether in general you put it on yourself or if your parents are really sheltering. Right. And then you don't have access to that and then you go to college, then you go wild. Right. But I really don't, I can't think of a single person who hasn't like, I have one friend. I have one friend that I can think of. He's actually like one of my best friends too, but he's, he's not, I've never seen him like super wild. Really? Yeah, like he's he's twenty three, great guy. I'm not gonna say who, but he's he's still got like the V card and everything. Oh, so he's and he's just like a really like reserved person in general. He's just like he doesn't see he he legitimately sees it this way, and this this might sound crazy to you too. I, it doesn't. He's explained it to me, and it makes sense after he explains it. But he he's like I don't see a point in going for a girl unless I'm like gonna marry her. He's yeah. like that's he's like that's where I stand. He's like I don't. He's like I've gone. And, like, done the dating thing, and, like, I just lose interest. Like, unless I'm actually going to pursue something meaningful, then I don't care. And it's I think understandable. It's, I think it's because he has, he has so many other hobbies, and his, his, his attention's so over here that he's like, okay, if you're going to waste my time, then, like, like, hooking up to him in his mind is wasting time. So he's yeah. like, okay, I'm not even going to do that. And he never, he's literally always been this way. He's always been, like, a, I a feel business like that's re- guru. I like that's respectable. Yeah. For sure. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, definitely. I think it's I think it's mostly interesting because like a lot of people like aren't like that. Like they just don't care. I mean, most people aren't like that. Like, yeah. They just do whatever they want to do. Yeah, for sure. They don't like think that far ahead in their like decisions. Like that. Yeah. Sure. A lot of people like to live like in the now. Yeah. And they don't really think too much about the future. Like they might think a little bit, but like. Things like that. They're just like, whatever. And he's also, he's like the type of guy who's like trying to retire by like 30, 35. Oh. And I, I don't doubt that he will. He's, he's, I don't think, I don't think he he will retire though. I don't think he'll just, he'll always be end up doing something. He's, he's fucking smart. You think he's yeah. going to watch I your podcast him. and know you're talking about him? Possibly. I, I have nothing. He's like, he's like literally like my favorite person. So I have nothing bad to say about him, but I don't know if he'd be comfortable with me sharing the fact that he doesn't. Hasn't lost his V card. I, I don't know if like he's uncomfortable with that. Well, you better okay. apologize to him. Yeah, true. <laughs> this is like a hypothetical person to anybody listening to this, unless unless it's him or maybe like two or three other people. But, yeah. But good point. But good point. I, no, I'm very conscious of like talking yeah. on like like air. It's kind of like HIPAA. Like <laughs> we don't care about HIPAA. <laughs> 
Okay, we, yes, do, we, care do. About we do care about him. We do care about him. But it's like, Seriously. if I say their first name, it's fine, because you don't know who they are. There's so many of the same people. But if I say their last name, then I'm in trouble. True. Yes. Big facts. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> no last names. No last names. Good point. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> do you guys like the lighting, by the way? Yeah, it was really cool when you flicked it on yesterday, and it was just like... <sighs> I was like, whoa. <sighs> just... Lighten it up in here, aren't you? Oh. I really like the curtain, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Like, is that weird? Is that a weird compliment? No, no, like not curtain? at all. I like it as well. I think it adds a lot. I'm actually, I'm living in a spot next year, and I'm going to be like, it's funny. Uh, I'm throwing, I'm actually living with Grant. Shut up. Uh, I live with Grant and two other guys. <laughs> no point I, to be like that. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm living with Grant. Thanks. I'm living with Grant. Did you tell him? <laughs> Did, yeah, did you tell him? I mentioned a few things. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh no. Shout out to you. But I have the same amount of curtains back home because I was going to put some curtains back in my house. And uh, I'm probably going to put a curtain in like a corner for a podcast room. And then I'm going to put a corner, yeah. a curtain in another corner because we're living like four people in a three person house. And uh, I'm gonna put a, Is that a curtain. Legal? No. And I'm gonna put a, <laughs> I'm gonna put a curtain in another corner for my bedroom. Oh really? Yeah. That's I like curtains. But it's funny because <laughs> Grant's like people are gonna walk downstairs and see these red curtains, like two individual rooms. They're gonna walk in in one room. They're gonna open up. And it's just gonna be a mattress on the floor. And they're gonna be like. What the hell? And then they're gonna walk another. It's just gonna be a table with a camera. And he's like, oh, he's no. like, people are gonna think like we're living like at a whorehouse. Like, they might think that. <laughs> the dungeon down yeah, there. You know what? The red curtain. It just be like that sometimes. It'd you be have like to do that. what you have to do. It'd be like that. <laughs> okay, but later we have to talk about what he said to Grant. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, that's fair. I didn't say anything bad. Uh, the, just that's remember. Not, that's, not, that's not the point. <laughs> just keep it in the uh, part of the brain. The we won't forget. The neo noggin. <laughs> we won't forget. Start using terms that we don't know what they mean. Keep it in the occipital lobe. <laughs> <sighs> the only thing I can remember about the brain is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus that regulates body temperature. A lot of things regulate body temperature. Yeah, I thought the, hi- I thought the high Like, blood. if you go to <clears throat> biology class, literally, like, the function everything. of everything is yeah. regulates body temperature. I'm so happy you corrected me on that, because I've been living with that idea. I thought like, I mean, the no, you're right. Like, it do. does. It's just, like, everything regulates your body temperature. Is it, so is it the main part of... Because whenever I learned it in, like, class, that was, like, the main one that... Like, your blood regulates body temperature. Mm. What about your adrenaline? Is that just, like, the adrenal gland... Probably. I don't know. Does it actually warm you up, the adrenal your gland? Your heart. Or is it? No. Probably regulates I just know, like, the adrenal too. gland has something to do with the fight or flight syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if you're in, like, a car wreck or something, you're like... I'm flighting. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're like, let me get out of this. Yeah. I love the stories of, like, average moms picking up cars to save their kids. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say, like, the fight that's or flight cool. syndrome, like, does. So. That's crazy. It's so wild. Like, the I, fact that we're all superhuman okay. whenever we have to be is yeah. sick as fuck. Isn't it? That's so cool to think That's about. some Grey's Anatomy shit. Yeah. Grey's True. Anatomy shit. I don't know, like... <laughs> yeah, like I, that. Like, okay. <laughs> I kind of have a hard time, like, believing that it's a thing. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, like, I hope that I never have to experience anything like that that makes me, like, have to, like, lift. <laughs> Imagine Lara lifting up a car. She would be like, okay, listen, I lift up these old people when they're yeah, about to fall. We lift all people the time. for a living. I'll be like, like, don't fall. We, so if, if they hit the floor, we have to report it. Like, no matter how hard they hit the floor, you have like, to you, report you can, like, it. Uh-huh. So if we're like them. getting them up from a chair and their feet slip or something, you're we're like, like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, throw them in the bed. <laughs> I'm not writing that fucking report. So help <laughs> you because I probably could lift a car. We put some heavy ass people to bed. Literally. I'm just imagining you like making a grunt, just like oh. like a like a tennis grunt. <laughs> <laughs> but you're trying to be quiet when you lift them because if you, you say something, wanna... they'd be like, "Am I heavy to you?" <laughs> like I'm inconveniencing them or something, or like you'll set them on the bed and they'll be like, oh. but, like they just did like, all they the just work. Did all the work, yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I just lifted 
need you. You're <laughs> really? a two assist and I did one. <laughs> Wait, they, 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 they like, do the sigh like of they, relief? Yeah, yeah they're, they're like, like off. Oh. So <laughs> like, oh, I made it to the bed. They sit down and they're just like, <laughs> and you're like, it's like, I literally did all of that. Yes, we're like sweating from every part of your body, and they're like, That's funny. And you're like, you're like really? really? You're, you're like, biceps are just throbbing. You're yes. like, Really? Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Basically, they just took all the credit for everything you did. <laughs> they're, they're, they're telling the stories props. for like the next few weeks. Basically, they're like, "Yo, I just stood up like by myself," and you're like, "I lifted you." They'll be like, "It's wild though." They'll be like, "You know, with therapy, I took five steps today," and you're like, "And you're like, I take great like a job. thousand steps a day out of you. I outdo you. Yeah. I outshine you in every way." I feel that way sometimes. They're like, "I took ten steps," and you're like, "Look at let my me Fitbit." Check my, you're like, "Yeah, let's just see my Seven thousand today. I like that." Check this shit out. <laughs> this is modern technology, motherfucker. They do, I tried to explain to Charles Ecker what Snapchat was. You can't say his name. I did cut that out. Can I'm not cutting out? anything out. You have to. Is that, a, is that an old person? That's HIPAA. Yes, you can't do that. You have to cut that out. Should I bleep it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Cut all yes. Of it. Oh, That's yes. fine. Okay. Just as last. Like, beep, beep. <laughs> Any name we say has to be like. I don't know. I don't care about that. I just said uh, like we're just swearing. Just the last. Like we're, I don't care if you swear. Like, <laughs> Charles fucking or Charles shit. Like it's gonna sound like I said his last Burr. name with a cuss word. But Stop saying it. I can say I said his first name. Okay, well I'm just telling you. HIPAA. HIPAA. We know. follow all the rules of HIPAA. HIPAA. <laughs> we're HIPAA. I doubt we would, honestly. How does it... Let me ask you. I've never asked anybody this. How does it make you feel? You guys are on camera right now being recorded. Like, does that bother you? Does that make you feel cool? Does it, like, how... I, it, I don't care. If anything... I just feel like I can't look at the camera yeah. without it being weird. It's like being okay. a, like an, an actress. You can't just be, like, looking at the camera. No, that's fair. When I think about it, I'm like, ugh. No. I wonder how Okay, I so look. I've always had this aspiration to be, like, an actress. Like, I'm really good... Well, okay, I might be like, am I good at like singing and like performing type shit? Like, uh -huh. I believe I belong on SNL, to be honest. Like, I think I'm fucking hilarious. Okay, so like the camera does not bother me. Like that's okay. that's fair, right? Do you, does it? Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. If anything it gives me energy, if yeah. anything it hypes me up, that's how Honestly, I feel. That's how you're I feel. Like, I don't know. Doesn't matter what happens. I'm a fucking camera. <laughs> We're documenting all. You're of like, this. this is going down in history. This is going down in history. This is going on the internet. The interweb. I want to be famous. <laughs> Wait, is that a reference? That's like a Vine reference. All right, like, are you a big Vine, a big Vine guy? I used to have forty thousand followers on Vine. So okay, yeah, that's so what he sprouted. So you should know that, like, this girl, this little girl on Vine, was like, I want to be famous. I think I've seen that. She has like sunglasses on. It, it, I don't know the details my, right No, now. my imagination might be making part of this up. I think I know you're okay, talking about Okay, do you ever feel that. like your imagination makes a lot of things Yes. Up? Like, you remember some shit, and I'm then in, there's, you, like, and extra, then you watch there's like extra shit, like, in your mind, and then you uh -huh. watch it, and, and you're it's like, like, that's, that's not, not what it. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that happens all the time. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I would agree with that. I like that one where she's like, give me your fucking money. <laughs> and then it's like the CSI. Dun, dun, dun. CSI? Is that what it is? No, it's, um. SVU. SVU. Yeah. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. See, I know I've seen that one too, but I can't, like, imagine it. Like, it, whatever the, the way you said it. And she, like, throws it against the wall. And she's like, give, give me your, your fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, fr you good? You good friends? Just hit me in the eyeball. This is assault, and I might. Not, not the eyeball. I might go home. I'm not the, oh the eyeball. Now it's her mom, too. Oh, really? No mom's allowed. No mom's allowed. No, da she just no sent dad's me, allowed. She just sent me an article about being catfished. I wrote a whole essay in college about being catfished. Oh, my goodness. Give it here, sister. Yeah. Let's, I felt like a weak high five. But okay, okay, there we go. We hit Yeah. Through. We go through the high five. One more. We go through it. my lucky number. Yeah. <laughs> 20 is my lucky number. <laughs> Let's do 20. That's funny you say that because three was my soccer number? number and then I that was my, that. 20 was my other soccer number. Those were like my two soccer numbers. I like number three.
three because I was the third born and Chance the Rapper, am I right? Oh, fucking oh, right. Yeah. Fucking right. Yeah, you don't know about Chance, but you know about Chance. Remember when I said you don't put me on blast when you're drunk? Well, you just put me on blast. So okay, thanks. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> about Chance the Rapper, are you mad? A little bit. It's getting heated. Let's work it out. Okay, who, let's call her out. Let's, let's get even. Let's go. Yeah. I'm here to cause conflict. <laughs> Stir the pot. Like <laughs> resolution, please. Let's hear it. I don't have anything to say. I'm stirring the pot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I smell like you're like a country music girl, like Country Roads Take Me Home. I don't even like that song. You guys play it all the you time. You make me want to drive the back road. You can take a ride on a big green and track. Take a ride on a Friday night. <laughs> Maybe like the noise and the them lights, lights down low. low. Does anybody know that Scotty Sire? Um, oh yeah, Viner. Viner. Yeah, I, I love like Scotty Sire. Let me tell you. Ooh. I used to think he was kind. Of, I used to not like his vines. To okay. Be honest. I, Scotty I used to not like Sire him. tweeted me one time. He no had, He had this thing about like drop your Snapchat name, so I dropped. I dropped mine. Ooh. And um, he Snapchatted me back, and then he like sent me a tweet, and I was like. Dab on him. I love Scotty Sire. Wow. It was wild. You sent like a picture of himself? Yeah, because I, I sent like, okay, I sent like this upside down Snapchat, and this is fucking dumb. I'm like, I'm embarrassed to say it. But I was like, upside down Snapchats are a thing, right? And he was like, they are now if they aren't. And I was like, oh, fucking shit. Oh. That's wild. What happened to him? I haven't seen him since five. I don't know. He's been trying to do a lot of like music type shit. Oh, know? really? And he's like a YouTuber. Yeah. Because like if you ever watch his YouTube channels, he was always doing like covers of songs. Uh-huh. But like, I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like the people that the fee, the people in YouTube that went the, the the people on Vine that went the music route kind of died out. Like Jack yeah. and Jack, I don't know if you yeah. know. Them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like they, they went the music route. They were good too. They, I know. Like they had some good music, honestly. Yeah. They went the music yeah. route and they died out. But like, yeah. but they they killed them in the comedy route. Everybody that went the vlog route though, they're think, still killing it. Okay, so like everybody that was on Vine that was like famous or whatever, uh -huh. do they all have like YouTube channels? Like, is that a thing? Most of them, a lot of a lot of them. Not a lot. Some have died out. Everybody's kind of gone there. It's cool because Vine like brought all these people to attention. Yeah, yeah. And then Vine brought them onto like they converted their traffic onto YouTube, yeah. and then they're like, oh, like now this is where I can go. Yeah. And I never would have thought that. That's I was too young, dumb, and naive to ever think that to like think of converting my audience. Yeah. I didn't really convert like any. Also, I was like done with like anything social media for like a year or two, mm -hmm. and then I was like. And I got really into listening to podcasts, and I was like, podcasts are dope! So now here you are. I'm a podcaster. Making your own podcast. Yeah. I can see myself getting into vlogs, by the way. Do, okay, I think I, should. I, I think I'd be good watch. at vlogs. I've I always wanted to watch make them. vlogs, to uh -huh. be honest. We, me and Peyton practice making vlogs. I feel like, okay, so I've always been, like, real big into, like, YouTube. Like, like I said, like, I wanted to be, like, an actress or whatever. So, like, when I do things like my makeup or whatever, I'll be like, Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me. It's your girl. Okay, this is the naked so, palette. This is my naked palette. You can look. I'll drop it in the link <laughs> below. It's only like seventy nine dollars at like, Sephora. At Sephora, like I said, I'll drop the link. Make sure you use like, my, subscribe, and comment. Use my coupon code for twenty percent. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. So like, I've always wanted to be like a YouTuber, but like. I don't know, I feel like I've never had, like, the proper content to, like, produce to, like, get people to follow, you know? But, I don't know, I've always just been, like, kind of scared to post it, to be honest. You, I feel like you need a camera person. After watching Danny Duncan upstairs, I feel like you need somebody to follow yeah, you around. Yeah, for and sure. You want to be my camera shit. girl? You could be my it girl. Be the it girl. I can't, Shut it, you're my it girl. I can't think of the rest of the song, otherwise I would sing it, but I can't think no, of it. Also. I honestly think, like, what these vloggers are Baby, doing, you the I think a lot of people can do. Be the crime. There we go. Got it. Wait, sorry. You, I, like, I feel like a lot, like, what these vloggers are doing, a lot of people could do. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I just feel like anybody could do it, to be honest. Yeah. You just have to, like, like get if, your ratings If you want to be famous, you basically have to live in Canada and, like, do some illegal shit and get arrested. Danny Duncan. 
Wait, is he from Canada? I don't know. I tried to ask you. Yeah, we were asking that earlier. Oh, really? Isn't he, wasn't he in Canada? Live? He was in Canada at the time, wasn't he? Uh, he lives in LA now, I think. Looks I like want to go to LA. Well, these two other, bad. these like vlog slash viners I do. Everybody's from LA. You know what I'm really Especially into? Especially YouTubers. So like, if anybody knows this, like, I'll be really impressed. But like, O2L, Our Second Life. I'm really into like, Kean and JC now. And like, I watch their shit all the time, right? Mm-hmm. And they live in LA, and I just want to go to LA. LA so bad. Every, it, like every celebrity lives in LA. I don't understand. I, okay, are YouTubers really celebrities though? The yeah. YouTubers I watch so. also moved so. to LA for like a year, but then they moved back to Kansas. Yeah. So like, oh, I'm really? pretty sure JC's still from Texas. Yeah, JC's from Texas. Um, oh, my dude. <laughs> I know. Love the Texas. Um, I don't know where anybody else from O2L is. Also, whatever happened to Ricky Dillon, to be honest? Yeah, I remember that name, too. Ricky Dillon? You know about Ricky Dillon? It's, it's, after, like, talking about this, it's all about relevancy. Ricky Dillon. And there's so Connor many celebrities. Keen Lolly, JC Kaylin. He's from Florida, by Who? the way. This guy? I could see Well, he was it. born in Florida. He's like, bro. I could see it. Little surfer dude. Anybody that says bro and has long... Yeah, he grew bro. up in Inglewood, Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. I could see it. But he lives in LA now. But didn't they go to Canada for that video? Possibly. That they were I like... I don't think so. I, where, I don't know why Canada keeps coming to my mind. Like, maybe I'm just obsessed with Canada. <laughs> like Hilda? <laughs> There's just so many famous yeah. people now. Like it, we live in we live in a time where more like literally even versus ten years ago, it's insane to me honestly. Like how many famous people are are versus ten years ago? And there's a lot of famous people. There like are. how do you even really become famous? Like you really just have to have a platform. To be honest. Yeah. Is this your platform? Are you trying to be famous? I don't know. I I'm just. Like, are you just know. trying to, like, put, like, your voice out there, like, your opinion? Like, you just want somebody to listen? Like, are you trying to be, like, famous? Ideally speaking, I would like to monetize this. This would be ideal, right? So, like, mm-hmm. if I could get some monetization through this, that requires an audience. Right. It's not necessarily that I'm, like, chasing fame. It's that I think it'd be extremely enticing. And the idea of having an audience so that I can convert... I guess not, not, uh, just, just people that like trust my voice and whatnot, that they are willing to listen so that I could monetize the content or sell merch or whatever. Not that I'm trying to use these people. I'm just saying if I could do drive some, uh, do what? I said, do you have merch? I've thought about getting like a t-shirt. Really? I've also thought about getting hats. Really? But I don't, I don't know who would buy because I don't really have much of an audience. I right now. would. I love merch. I love merch. You guys really would? There's two of us. I might. I was thinking. Like I was really thinking. Like where are you gonna hats. put it on it? Like your name or something? I'd probably put my logo. Like your face. Do you have a logo? Yeah. Oh. He'd put Jordan's. His like in- at interest something interest. perspective. But I will I say. I will say now. this. I really enjoy just doing this. I really enjoy just right. sitting down talking to people. Right. I learn a ton. I learn yeah, so sure. much. And uh, I, I've networked. Like, as far as networking, it helps a ton. So I would like to build a brand out of my name, but not, like, not in a conceited way. But, like, remain who I am. Because right. I feel like I could still remain, like, who I am through this. But uh, <clears throat> that kind of requires, as far as any money goes, it requires an audience. So it all starts, right. if I want to make money, which is not my first incentive. Mm-hmm then I'm going to need an audience, which is also not my first incentive. But that's kind of like the goal as well. Because if I if I want to like make anything out of this, then it kind of requires an audience. Unless it's but I can't lose the way I see it, because like regardless, I get to share time with good friends. I get to hang out with people. I get to talk on camera. And I get to just enjoy life with different people and build like make like Reestablish and establish relationships, and uh, on top of that, like the amount of shit that I learn, I'm getting better at having conversations. I'm getting better at articulating my thoughts. Like, there's so many like skills that get accumulated with that. That like, maybe I can use those skills to pursue something else if that's what I choose to do. So at some point in time, I don't know. But regardless, I I would like to brand myself at some point in the future somehow, some way. Right. Something involving comedy as well, not just like a business guy. You think you're you know? funny? 
I think I think I'm decent at not taking myself too seriously. I don't right. think I'm necessarily the funniest that. person, but I, I feel that. Okay, that's that's an awesome quality to have. I feel that, yeah. Like, oh, that's like I feel like I feel like you have on. you have a better time if you don't take things like too seriously. So true. Like, <laughs> absolutely. So true. <laughs> but yeah, for sure. Did Sean just get home? <clears throat> Maybe. I hope so. I think somebody's here. I hope so. Do you guys want to call this quits or keep going or what do you want to do? For sure. I'll call it quits because I have to pee so bad. Same. <laughs> How long did we go? That, that's perfect. That's literally, we went 40 minutes. I was literally trying is to go like, like between that, like half. I feel half, like that was a long time. Like, no, really? I, no, I don't feel like it was I feel like minutes. it was a short time. I feel like it felt like a short time, uh-huh. but it like, is actually. Are we climbing this quick? Because I'm going to go pee. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, sure. Yeah, it's crazy how like quick time flies in this. All right, cool. Anything, any last words? Mm-mm. You'd buy my merch. Rock I would, I would merch. buy your merch. I was thinking about buying 50 hats. I think I might no, be able to sell 50. I want 50. a t-shirt. A t-shirt? Yes. I want a hat because I want a backwards okay. hat. I want, <laughs> I want a shirt. A backward hat guy. Yeah, I'm a backward That's you. I was thinking about getting, because it, it would it would require money, but in the long term, it would make me a little bit of money back. Yeah. It depends on, you could probably get like a discount if you do like a certain amount too. True. You know, like if you customize a certain amount, order a certain amount, you probably like get like some kind of like. The two things I'm thinking, <clears throat> two things I kind of want are a new camera, and the camera's nice. So you can vlog? That'd be cool. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. But get it, maybe a new camera. I'm not like in a huge rush for that, because that's decent. That's actually not that bad. And then um, on top of that, a, what was I going to say, a... Oh, a down payment for some merch and then convert that. Yeah. I'd buy it. Go. Even if, even if I wouldn't wear it, just to support you. Thank you. Thank you. I might do that. I might do that. I'm thinking about it now. It's cr- it's it's circling my it's thoughts. In, it's in the making. Exactly. In the making. In the making. So then you can start ending your podcast with, look out for my merch. Check out the merch on my head. We got prototypes. We got prototypes. I like it. All right, cool. Should we call this quits? Yeah. You want to push the button? Nobody else has ever pushed the button but me. Stop. Yep.